Yes, hello guys. It's your girl Clara Clary. I'm back again with you. And today, yes, you may see me in different clothes, in the same clothes, but I did these videos at the same time. So I wanted to explain to you various things. So today we are here to cook sukuma which um i'm going to show you how to cook skuma week skuma week is something they literally resemble uh cabbage leaves but they are not cabbage leaves and i'm going to leave our english word for skuma week i don't know if skuma week is an english word by the way so anyway you're going to see uh, how it's cooked first you go to your garden if you have a garden yes you go to your garden or you go, you go to the market buy your skuma wheat or pick it from the garden then after you come do the same thing as you see i'm doing so after removing the leaves from its stalk you're going to get a bucket or you're going to get a bowel dip them into water try to rinse them so that you remove the dirt you can wash them like three times or two times depending on where you have bought them from or depending on the condition that you've got them from or from the garden so after doing that if they are at least are uh, you can do it like how I've, I've done it you first cook them into water after cooking them into water you drain the water out of the sukuma wick so after draining the water out or removing the water out of the sukuma wick you get your tomato hose you get your onions you get your uh, saucepan you get your charcoal stove you place the saucepan to the charcoal stove you pour in your cooking oil after putting in your cooking oil you get uh, the onions after the onions turning a little bit brown you put in the tomatoes after putting in the tomatoes you can put reiko you can put uh your reiko or anything like simba but not too much curry powder then after you get your salt you put in the skuma wick after putting in the skuma wick you stir you mix them so that you are all mix up very well and together so after there hmm i think you wait for them so that don't forget to put salt because when you don't put salt in anything like food or salt if i told you it's salt then the dish will not go well for you so after doing that you give them like a minute after giving them a minute remember that you've already boiled them so they are ready after uh, the tomatoes getting ready you just have to put them inside and then you're good to go you're ready to eat your skuma week i think we have gotten a chance to learn something new today from clara clary's youtube channel even if you're from a different country nigeria cameroon south africa um kenya whatsoever country you're in i know this can help you out because you may have them in your marketplaces or you may plant them in your garden as well because it's it's something that you can eat if you eat greens as a side dish or as a spicing thing you can enjoy this ingredient or this delicious meal the greens aside from eating avocado it's nice you will really love this dish i love you so much guys thank you for keeping yourself on my youtube channel i really appreciate the joy the love you shower me or you share with me on my youtube channel you guys are really great and i love you i don't take you for granted and i love it when you comment down if you cook out anything new that i've brought for you and you find it very delicious or very loving to you you come and comment in my comment section below maybe you can direct it to someone else your neighbor your children and everyone else that is part of your life i love you so much guys ciao ciao and bye bye take care